Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to share the concept of computing the average value, root mean square value, and the power. I believe that most of you are already familiar with the terminologies average value, RMS, and power. But hopefully, this sharing can give an insight on a different perspective. So let's begin with the average value or the mean value. So take a look at Take a look at this graph. Suppose that it shows the monthly revenue of a company. So the average revenue is simply adding all these uh, monthly income um, and then divide it with the number of months, which gives a constant value somewhere um, in the middle of the plot. Uh, which is called the average or mean value. So however, in electrical engineering, we often encounter with continuous functions like this one um, that may represent the signal of voltage or current. Since it is continuous, the most accurate way to find its average value is by using the integral provided that the function is known. So here, if this is the waveform of a current IT versus T, so the average value of the current is the integral of the current over a period of time. For example, from A to B. So the average value of the current is the integral from A to B, which in fact provides the area below the graph. Um, and then by dividing the integral with the time period, divided by B minus A, then we have the average value then we have the average value for the current. So however, in some cases, you don't get sufficient information for the average value, especially when you want to uh, relate the quantity with the energy or power. So suppose that this is the current that flow through um, a light bulb, that flow through a load. You know, let's say light bulb. So this is the current. So you might see the bulb lights up due to the uh, magnitude of the current, but yet the average value of the current is zero. This is because when you integrate this uh, AC-like function, so. Um, this area of the negative half cycles provides negative value. Then it cancels out with the uh, area of the positive half cycle. So to prevent getting zero average or zero mean value for certain functions, so they introduce another type of mean, which is called the mean squared, in which the, the square of the function is taken before um, the integration. So now, if we take the square of the function before we integrate it, so here um, the negative, the square of the negative half cycle has the same magnitude of the square of the positive half cycle. So now we can um, take we can get the mean squared as the um, integral from a to b of the i squared dt and divide it with the time period. So in the previous case, in the previous case. Um, sorry, the integration, direct integral a to b i t dt from 
a to b gives zero value but now the integral from a to b is no longer zero uh, because of the square um, so however the units of this amount is ampere square because of the i square the unit is ampere square so to get back its original dimension we take the root of the mean square such as let me copy this uh, so to get back its original dimension we take the square root of the means uh, of the mean square so we have um, this expression in which it is known as the root mean square value and lastly how to relate the power with the rms or root mean square so the general formula for a time varying power is a p function of time equals to voltage times current both of them are the function of time so if the voltage and current are in a resistor we have another expressions for the power in which this equals to v squared over r and also equals to i squared times r so here the average power is p equals to the integral of a to b p of the function of t divided by b minus a which also equals with this one and this one as well so if we take the last expression and compare it with the RMS formula so we notice that um, if we uh, take this resistor resistors uh, out of the integral we notice that this is in fact equals to sorry so this is in fact equals to i rms square if you compare with the with these expressions so now we we, sh we can show that this equals to the average power equals to i rms squared times r all right so to conclude this video i will rewrite the expression for the average value rms value and the power in a more a general way that is the um, average value equals to we divide by time period integral of the function of a uh, a b the average value is very similar expression but we take the square of the function before we integrate it and take the square root and the power equals to this expression which is a uh, very alike with the RMS expression um, so here the the function FT can be either voltage or current so this expression of power uh, without the presence of the resistor is known as uh, the normalized power or we can interpret it as the power absorbed by a 1 ohm resistor so P 1 ohm so if F equals to V we have to divide this expression uh, with resistor but if F is the current we have to multiply it with the resistor